In the Middle Ages, there lived in Merchia a group of marauding barbarians who took to the high seas in search of plunder and booty. Mm. Booty! Where the ladies? Booty. No, you fools! Booty as in goods stolen from raided villages and captured ships. Uh, crap! Get back in your armor, you uneducated dolts! The barbarians gathered their weaponry and prepared to ride forth, sail forth, in fact, in search of plunder. The leader of the barbarians, Zachmo, led his band far and wide, returning to Mercia with the stolen fruits of their labor. They pillaged and burned wherever they felt, and they became a terror upon the high seas. Everywhere they went, merchants felt their evilness and plundering. Stop them soon. Soon the barbarians returned to Mercia with much fame and wealth gained. In fact, Zachmo had became the most powerful man in all of Mercia. The Druids, impressed with his gaining power, gave him a Druidic princess in order to gain his favor. Zachmo shouted a scream of jubilation. Not long after, they had a son. But his wife's post-pregnancy hormones and the mood swings they caused soon convinced Zachmo to leave once again to seek to sack and plunder. She's driving me crazy! Soon our hero and his men Soon our hero and his men captured a small ship and the ship was carrying an unusual cargo But this was no ordinary cheesecake. The news of its theft was heard all the way at the Ninja Assassin Fortress deep in Persia. The Secret Ninja Fortress in Persia. Hey, Splay. Schwart, and don't call me Splay, and I'm the Ninja Master. Did you hear that? Hey, Schwart. Is that like the cheesecake boat being flooded? Stop the air, my cheesecake. Yeah, yes. Do you want the cheese and the cake and the soup balls? Yeah, yes, Master. Do you want the stretch my cheesecake for the birthday? Yeah, yeah. Ah, got the Ninja and the Mockingbird. We lost the Mockingbird to the moon. Oh, crap. What besides the Mockingbird we have? We got the moon cows and the camels. Oh, crap. We go now. We Wait, sweet exit. Sweet exit. Yes. This boy's smoke. Wait, no, 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 no. Holy crap, we go. Fill, 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 fill. Got it? Go, go. I would like that cheesecake, please. A cheesecake, do you? Uh, no, cheesecake. 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 A cheesecake. I'm sorry. Yes, cheesecake. Anything else? Uh, no, ma'am. Thank you, dollar twenty-seven. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the ninjas sat in their uh, fortress in Mercia, enjoying their cheesecake.
Cheesecake. Little did they know that the ninjas were approaching. The ninjas prepared for battle. Why you kill us? You take the cheesecake, you must pay! It's not my cheesecake, it's good! All your cheesecake all belong to us! I Make me to die! I will kill you, Ninja Man! I won't have to fight you! Oh. So the young boy was left for dead, and the ninjas continued to rape and plunder Murcia. Soon they grew tired of their ransacking, and they went back to their secret ninja fortress to enjoy their cheesecake. The boy, however, did not die, and a wandering old shepherd, as always shows up in these stereotypical tales and legends, found the boy and raised him for his own son. It's your baby! I shall call him Joseph! The old man named the boy Cavrishard. Then I shall call him Cavrishard, but his middle name will be Joseph. But he never told him who his family was. The Cavrishard grew and grew with the strength of his father and the wisdom of the druids increasing within him. The old man and his adoptive son took the sheep out each day to pasture. One day, as they herded the sheep, there came from the bushes a ferocious beast. Well, I'm kind of in the, scene. the beast attacked the old man savagely. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! 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 <laughs> you foul hearted beast! I will kill you with my bare hands! Ugh. Father, I have failed thee. No, son, it is I who have failed you. <coughs> I have not told you of your past. Now it is time. I found you in the abandoned fort of your real father. So he continued to tell the young man of his past, mercifully able to share all of the details, even while bleeding profusely. <coughs> As he finished the tale of his father's demise, he gave Kebeshaw this challenge. It is my time, son. But you will be a great man. You must go to my brother in Paris. He will train you for your revenge. My father has perished. Now I must avenge my blood father. No quarter shall be given. Wait. Farewell, father. Wait! Don't take the sheep! And for God's sake, don't eat the cheesecake! It's bad for your honor, mate! Pierce, I've Hello. pushed it up. Hello. Our hero sets off to meet his destiny, heading across France. As he travels, he lives off the bounty of the land, finding his food from amongst the edible plants and berries that he learned while with his adoptive father. Along his way, he is snubbed by the French peasants who consider themselves to be of superior culture. Hello. Hello. Their rejection is so complete as to include throwing manure upon him. He continued his journey, and after much trekking, Kibrashad finally reached the gates of Paris. After much, aha! Uh -huh. After much trekking, I have reached the gates of Paris. What do you want? I have come hither seeking a. Seeking a traitor who can help me to avenge my father. You talk like an English pig dog. I am English. How dare you insult me like that? Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. You Frenchmen take offense rather easily. 
You repulse me, English bulldog! You are a strange man, Master Frenchman. But, if my attempt has offended, think but this, and all is mended. That while you have guarded here, and these travelers did appear, and this weak and idle frame shall no more offend anyone of your name. You stupid English in your awful Shakespeare! You stupid English in your cursed Shakespeare! I will kill you when I get this out! Good day to you, my angry French friend. Bonjour, what do you want? I am Kevishard, the adopted son of your brother. I was hoping that you could train me in the art of war. What do you want? I need your help so that I can avenge my father. I have not had a sword in more than 20 years! They say it's like riding a horse. Once you've done it, you never forget how. Well, I have no sword. Go forth! Purchase a sword and bring it back to me and I shall train ye for old time's sake. I shall go and find a mighty sword. Foul haunted names. They sail but only plastic swords. I cannot find an epic sword. I have failed my father. Did somebody say epic sword? What? Hi, I'm Hyman Feldstein. I, have, I own this traveling shop called Hyman Schlag Shop. Uh, can I interest you in my wares? Can I see your swords? Uh, can I interest you in some lockies? Or how about this new action figure, the German Pope? No thanks. Can I just see your swords? Uh, how about this nice little star of David? I hear they're all the rage in Germany. <laughs> All I want is an epic sword. Okay, why didn't you just say so? Here, you can have this no, plastic one. No, I hate plastic weaponry. Okay, how about this one? It was wielded by a great knight. It's called Dragon Shot. What happened to the knight? Hang on, I have that written down. He was standing at the gates of Jerusalem when it fell. The Arabs cut his, hand, uh, cut his arms off, then flayed him. They took his lifeless body and drug it behind a horse, then chopped off his tes testicles and unraveled his large and small intestines. They impaled his head on a spear and cut off the rest of his organs and fed him to dogs. Then they placed a curse on anyone who wielded his weapon in battle that the same fate would happen to them. No, no, I don't think I want this one. That's all right. No, nobody ever does. Do you have anything else? Hmm. Are you of the Druidic line? Yes, yes, I am. Excellent. This one comes from the ancient tombs of Canterbury. It, was, it had an enchantment placed on it that only the heir of the of the Druids can wield it. I make a good price. How about 400 gold? Hmm. I'll have to Jew him down. All I have is 200. All right. You look nice. I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give it to you for 200, if you wear this shirt, advertising. Hyman Schlock Shop. Goodbye, my my friend. I shall wear this shirt with pride. I, I have no money. Can't we resolve this peacefully? Yes? I have returned with an epic blade. Now will you train me? Yes, yes, I will train you. Oh! You made me trip! I didn't know such thing. Whatever. Let's go. I'm ready to begin my training. You do not need this sword. You need to work on stamina. Stamina is the key. Here, put on this helmet. Run around and punch the air like I saw in Rocky. Oh, he was a sexy man. Go, go, go! Let's do this! Someone 
No, first you must beat the game man with a stick. A what? An old man with a stick, just like you did in the Count of Monte Cristo. Oh! Oh! Ooh! Oh! 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 I'm internally bleeding! Oh! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Oh! oh that hurt like a something bad! Oh my goodness! Now you have finished your training. Yeah! Your father told me to give this to you to avenge his death. Ever so. Go forth! Now you are an awesome weapon master. Oh my spleen! Oh. <laughs> 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 The Secret Ninja Fortress in Persia. Did you hear that? Guess what? It sounded like the bubble the ninjas getting motorized. Oh crash, what are we gonna do? We gonna kill him, then we gonna mangle the enemy. No, we can't do that. What are we gonna do? We're gonna make it in a thing, kill them! Call these ninjas! Alert! Alert! Let's get ready to do the fight today! Protect the cheesecake too! No! no! Come out, ninjas! Come and fight with you, girly man! As John advanced, the ninjas made one last bang and killed him. And the carnage was great. John surveyed the work he had done to move on to assault his arch nemesis in the heart of the ninja fortress. You. You killed my father. I will kill you. Kilshard entered the evil lair, the den of scoundrels, the house of horrors, the pit of violence. Alright, get on with it. Sorry. Kilshard entered and began to search for the ninja master. Little did he know that <laughs> thou hast slain the narrator. Yeah, yes, he also broke the script. Now that he's dead, I can't lose. Make ready to die. <laughs> Face. 
My, that was deceptively easy. Now, how are we to continue filming now that the narrator is dead? Here, uh, I'll read, you film. Okay. And so Kurobashar avenged his father and mother and established himself as a hero. He went on to perform many legendary exploits and feats, all of which have been chronicled on DVDs that can easily be purchased with any major credit card at Hyman's Schlock Shop. Kurobashar and his trusty sword lived out their days fighting for truth, justice, and the end of cheesecake addiction everywhere. They have a special message for you. Hi. My sword and I would like to say to any of you out there who might be hooked on cheesecake that there is hope. The first step is admitting that you have a problem. Then you can contact the Cheesecake Addiction Busters for Society for more information at 704-473-1603. Thank you, and remember, help slay cheesecake addiction. Get help. Thanks. <coughs> Roll credits already? It's like freaking 200 degrees <laughs> in this suit! Now am I ready to begin my soul training? No. First, you must beat an old, a gay man with a... Hold up, the count. Now am I ready to begin my soul training? No. First, you must beat a gay man with a stick. What? An old man with a stick, like they did in the Count of Monte Carlo. <laughs> now am I ready to begin my soul training? No. First, you must beat a gay man with a stick. A what? An old man with a stick. Just like they did in the... <laughs> I'm Dick Johnson, I'm with the homos. <laughs> I'm Dick Johnson, I'm with the homos. <laughs> I'm Dick Johnson, I'm with the homos in the Holocaust hatred. And if this such travesty continues, we will burn your houses and plunder your booty. You are s I'm, <laughs> I'm Dick Johnson, I'm with the homos. <laughs> Alright, I'm here. It's a cat. It's like a mic. Dude, that's bigger than a cat. Look at it. Look how far away we are. William, it's a cat. That's a cat. Wait, look at this big face. Hey, there's your mom, William.